Today, we bring you exciting news from the medical community. The FDA has recently approved a new drug, Vafseo, also known as Vadatastat, for the treatment of anemia. This marks a significant advancement in managing this condition. Vafseo is a hypoxia-inducible factor, proleal hydroxylase, HIFPH inhibitor, used for the treatment of anemia due to chronic kidney disease, CKD, in adults who have been on dialysis for at least three months. Vafseo works by mimicking the body's natural response to low oxygen levels. It stimulates the production of erythropoietin, a hormone that encourages the bone marrow to produce more red blood cells, combating anemia effectively. However, please note that it has not been shown to improve quality of life, fatigue, or patient well-being. It is not indicated as a substitute for transfusions in patients requiring immediate correction of anemia, or for those with anemia due to CKD who are not on dialysis. Vafseo is available in tablet forms of 150 mg, 300 mg, and 450 mg. The recommended starting dose of Vafseo is 300 mg taken orally once daily, with or without food. Hemoglobin levels should be monitored when initiating or adjusting the dose, and then monthly. Dose increases should not occur more frequently than once every four weeks, although decreases can happen more frequently. Dose adjustments should be made in increments of 150 mg to maintain hemoglobin levels between 10 gm per dl and 11 gm per dl, with doses ranging from 150 mg to a maximum of 600 mg. While Vafseo offers promising benefits, common adverse reactions include hypertension and diarrhea. Warnings and precautions are essential to consider. Vafseo may increase the risk of thromboembolic events, including strokes and heart attacks. Patients with a history of cardiovascular disease should be closely monitored during treatment. Further, it's important to monitor liver function, as Vafseo can cause elevated liver enzymes. Regular blood tests will help ensure that the liver remains healthy throughout the course of the treatment. Hypertension may worsen, including the possibility of hypertensive crisis, so blood pressure should be closely monitored and antihypertensive therapy adjusted as needed. Seizures have been reported in patients with CKD taking Vafseo. Therefore, monitoring for new onset seizures or changes in seizure frequency is recommended. Additionally, gastrointestinal erosions and bleeding have been reported, and there may be unfavorable effects on cancer growth, making Vafseo not recommended for patients with active malignancy. Vafseo is contraindicated in patients with uncontrolled hypertension, High blood pressure must be managed before starting this medication to avoid serious complications. Always consult your doctor for a thorough assessment. Patients with a known hypersensitivity to vadadustat or any of its components should not use Vafseo as severe allergic reactions could occur. Immediate medical attention is necessary if symptoms of an allergic reaction arise. Vafseo may cause fetal harm if used during pregnancy, and breastfeeding is not recommended until two days after the final dose. The effects on unborn or nursing children are not well studied, so risks versus benefits must be carefully weighed. It is also not recommended for use in patients with hepatic impairment, specifically those with cirrhosis or active acute liver disease. It's also vital to disclose all medications you are currently taking to your doctor. Vafseo can interact with other drugs, potentially altering their effectiveness or increasing the risk of side effects. Patient education is key. Understanding how to take Vafseo correctly, recognizing potential side effects, and knowing when to seek medical attention are crucial aspects of successful treatment. For healthcare providers, staying informed about the latest clinical guidelines and updates on Vafseo will ensure they can provide the best care and advice to their patients. In conclusion, the FDA approval of Vafseo represents a significant milestone in the treatment of anemia, particularly for those with chronic kidney disease. Always consult healthcare professionals for personalized medical advice. Please consult your healthcare provider to know if Vafseo is a suitable option for you or not. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more language tips and tricks. See you in the next video.